All right, guys, welcome back. This is episode three or four. I don't know. I haven't um, I've put everything together. Anyways, we used our strings with the Empire to get them to attack and completely annihilate an Edekin village over here. Uh, the good news is, is with that, they are in range of my own initial uh, base to be chucking them goods and stuff to keep the Empire happy and allied with us and on our side. Also, they're really close for trade, so I can send them more trade goodies, or I can ask them for more traders. Um, I'm going to build a road. Now, the road crew is working on glitter roads, um, which are going to be even faster for travel. So I will probably glitter road all over the Empire down here. And once I'm done, I'll come up here. I'll glitter road to Basco Spos. Um, those settlement points are from a war band that literally just jumped in and smacked the... Uh, uh, where is it? Um, where, where is it? Scouting party of shotgun pirates. Warband of Exodus Empire with a combat power of... Yeah, they captured Holberg with a combat power. So they pretty much just came in and just smacked them. Uh, anywho. That being said, uh, that's what we're up to with that. Um, once we set, And now that we've done that, we're going to go home. We're going to get... Uh, a couple more transport pods going because we're going to send just enough more down to that we can have our road crew finish up the glitter roads already in construction down there because I believe each glitter road is now I want to wait until this one's finished it's almost finished I believe each glitter road is one, that movement speed is just smexy. It's just one less difficult than the asphalt road, or point one, but look how fast they moved that tile. Vanilla Rim World, they're not supposed to move that fast, anywhere near that fast. So, I'm going to stop. I'm going to cancel construction. So, it costs 20 components and 10 advanced components. So I theoretically need to ship them. Uh, actually, built loads more components. Honestly, uh, it might be smarter to just bring this crew back, and then send somebody down with the albatross to that road crew. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, you guys keep going with your glitter road, and keep building it up to that city. And while you guys are doing that, we will bring them back. Alright. Sending. Alright. We need to make a couple more transport pods. Because the road. Actually, no, we just need to send that one pod down. Because after that one pod, the road crew sh should be good to go for a little bit. So we're going to send that one pod down. <laughs> and once it gets there, we will fire off the rest of those components. Um, and actually, we're going to send a couple more pods down. And then just normal components. Because it was two components to one advanced component was the ratio. Which means that I've sent too many advanced components and not enough normal components. Which, anyway, watching this isn't going to give a flying frack anyway. But, um, you know, I want all those roads to, I want it to work nicely with each other. Why has none of the steel that I've asked for gotten up here? Or has she already burned through all of it? No, she hasn't. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Well, if 
Probably because I got my other. Probably because I got most of my haulers bringing in bodies. Because we're still cleaning up this battlefield of the. Uh, uh, it'll be in the blooper reel, somewhere. But I called everybody in and the void in, and I was gonna try and capture some voidlings, but fate had other ideas in mind. And by other ideas, I mean they literally just stole shit and left. They didn't even stick around for a proper fight. So, I have a ton of bodies, though, which is good for my neural heat dissipation uh, training for J-Boy. And um, brains. Okay, they've about me friggin' had it, if I had to guess, so... Okay. Pod. So, send them two more pods. And components. We'll send 200 components. <coughs> How are we doing on gold? Oh, not bad. So, fun fact, there was a stack like 9,000 gold, and that's where this uh, smoke leaf tincture comes from. Transmute is, I'm convinced it's just for the lulls. It's like being trolled on a whole new level. Anyways. I'm really tempted to move the mining area, and I want to move it up here. I want to kind of knock out a room up here and just have it be mines and have mining slaves assigned up here so that way I mean clearly we'll need haulers to drag stuff to what in the hell where's all my you know it's still it's the bo field bodies and that's that's what it is Anywho. Okay. That can be fixed, I feel. That's, that's outside the farm life area. We need to put some legs on you. I'm surprised that you're alive. Actually, as long as I've had you. All right. Should be about ready with those components. That should be the last of it. Nope, not quite. I'll be back when I can figure out what we're going to do next. Alright guys, I don't mean to cackle with glee, but I've been looking for anti-green warheads for so long, I almost forgot they existed. So, we're going to reverse engineer that puppy with tear, and because I've got the craftable mod that allows me to craft them. I mean, tear's going to take a nice little dirt nap real quick. Um... But, I'll be able to make these bad boys. And that's realistically all that matters. And I'll be able to use them in my artillery. Alright, Spec, go pick him up. Let's see if I can remember the recipe. 
believe it's going to be mortar. Okay, should be under fancy green technology mortar shell. All right. Steel, uranium, plasteel components, and advanced components to make an anti-green warhead. All right. Well, we've got plenty of components and advanced components laying around, but we're still trying to build that road. So I'll probably keep a very light amount in stock. I say making 20, you know, warheads. But I'll be sure to keep a light amount in stock. That way I can use my resources for the road and for other stuff. Finally, got awful crafting standalone. It took forever, but I did it. Alright, well, that's all for this segment. Um, I'm going to keep doing base improvement and eventually get everything put away because. That is a whole lot of stuff that does not need to be just chilling out unhauled. So I'm going to figure out what's going on with that. And we'll be back. Alrighty guys, I know I've been talking about looking at shenanigans that we can get into. Well, turns out the Void wanted to get close to where I'm at. Which is wholly and completely unacceptable. So, we're going to go ahead and go take out that barracks. Yep. So, anyways, we're going to take meds. Pack of survival meals. And do we have any mortars laying around in storage? We have one mortar. Um, about brains is going, but neither of the current shooters are. And I've got ideas for you two. You guys get a man the artillery. All right. Well then, all right. I'm going to drop at the edge over there. Now Tola and him are going to operate these turrets, or these artillery. Attack has begun. Okay, that's going to be part of the barrack. Now the base, it says base destroyed, so... Um... Nah, um. Okay. Clearly there's no NPCs here. Or none of their people here. So we're going to hold up until we have artillery fire. Okay, I need you to target a world tile. I need you to target that map. Let's see if the artillery is at least something decent. Maybe? Yeah, I'm not seeing the artillery fire come in. 
so maybe it's got to be more All right, again, we're gonna see how the artillery does. Okay, supposed to be coming in. Oh, well, I guess it's, it's hitting right over here. All right, forget, forget waiting on the artillery. They've got hyper mutants coming out of hibernation, so screw that. J, guardian skip barrier. And everybody else, just remember what you're supposed to do. Which is get in close, destroy these turrets. Okay. Area revealed somewhere. Where? Um, right down here. Nothing we need. Okay, we got mutants waking up from hibernation. This is not good. Okay. Tier, if you'd be so kind as to shoot the door down. these count as the phantometric power cells for the sky mind we're gonna make sure we steal a couple of these when we leave okay there is a lot more here than I even remotely want to play with, but it looks like we found something over here. We found Synthread, a lot of steel, some components, some infinite chem reactors. That's nice. Just got to make sure to take out those Void Tech power cells. All right. Uh, Jay, how's your... Okay, we're not doing too bad on Guardian Skips. All right. So, bams, just pop around the corner. Mutants are waking up. I'm not seeing where they're at, though, so... I'm hoping that by not seeing where they're at does not mean that we're about to get jumped by them. Where are you... Where are your mutants at? Okay, I heard a hissing noise over here, so that's got to be a mutant chamber in there. Uh, I've come this far. I'm going to save. Also, conversely, I can't save scum to get us out of this situation now, so if I have to do a tactical retreat, it's going to be interesting. I'm just hoping to not have to do one. That's not what I was after. Hold on a moment. Oh. I'm going to ask my buddies for help. 
Got some of the Empire guys coming up to help. When they get here, hopefully they'll start fleshing stuff out. Or they'll run away. I don't personally care one way or the other. I'm hoping they show up and help. Or, you know, they just won't even pop onto the map because, God forbid, that be something they do. Yay. All right. Well, since that wasn't a thing, and we cannot, I have not found where the mutants are coming from. All right. Uh, Brains also has a guardian skip barrier, so we're going to use his while Jay cools down. I need to get a longer range weapon, honestly. see what's behind right there seems like lungs void tech hearts void tech parts all right all right Let's see what's behind that door silver meeting whiteboard with graphs even useful for anything? Nope. Okay. I have not found where the mutants are hatching, and that concerns me because they can pop out and start fucking things up, and that does not bring me joy. Okay, I doubt it's behind this door, but we'll see. Now, they might be in this part of the lab down here. Okay, I forgot how god awful your melee sucks. Just blast it. Okay. Oh shit. Wait, you've got the reactive agent on. You can. Combat supplier from oh this is all happening at the main base. I'm getting suppliers in. Tank became an adult. Cool for him. I'll uh we'll get him geared up and we might actually bring him out to this mess. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Look at all of it, guys. Jeez Louise. Uh, legendary Void Tech Hyperweep skin. Damn. There are some sentries in there, though, so we will have to be very careful with how we go in there. I don't want to blow everything up. Yeah, because that Void Tech Power Cell will blow everything sky high, so we'll have to be careful. Is there any way, and there's nothing I can do about the sentries for now. I'll have to go in there with uh, Jay. That doesn't explain where the mutants are, and I'm not happy about not finding the mutants yet, because the mutants are the one things that can mess this whole thing up. you okay in the meantime I'm gonna have 
brains, turn off his skip guard. Okay. Okay. No mutants so far. I'm gonna save. Yeah, I'm gonna reload because I'm not sure if I just destroyed, like, anything. I mean, it doesn't look like how you did, but I'm gonna double check. Or I'll get stuck in a load loop. Hopefully not. I'm not gonna lie, guys. I'm really close to, and I don't want to, you know, because dev mode is cheesing it. But I would love to defog the map and just take a peek and find out where the mutations are hiding at. But I'm not doing that. But we're getting pretty close to having blown up a good portion of this base and not finding them. Which, you know, I don't mind, but I'd just really like to know where they're at. In these circular rooms somewhere. Well, I heard hissing over here. Clearly not. And where would I hide if I were a mutation? Hmm. All right. You know what? Let's all head back to the shuttle and t eat some food and see if the mutations reveal themselves. What we'll do is we'll do a stockpile zone. We'll do a stockpile zone right here. We'll do a home zone. Yeah, there's a home zone right over there. It, we'll do some normal sleeping spots. We need six. All right. We'll undraft for now and let everybody get some food and sleep. And then we're going to look around some more. I'm going to have to send Jay in. Actually, yeah, we'll send Jay in. He's got a hyper reactive guard. He's also literally my slowest one. What the hell, Jay? got some combat suppliers back home so let's take a look at those real quick uh, spec yeah you go meet with them actually no 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 this is about this adventure Let's go find the stupid mutants. That way we can loot this place and... Okay. The Empire showed up to trade. Nice of you guys to show up to trade. Can't for life of me figure out why you guys didn't show up to... Okay, guys. Go get some sleep. Infinite chem reactors would be nice. Screw it. I'll just start blowing holes in, in walls.
I love how this is literally showing me nothing that I want to see. This is kind of on me for being paranoid, but I mean, these guys' mutation creatures have been ridiculous in the past. Like, they've had hellhounds, they've had all kinds of crap that just seems to come out and try to eat you. And I quite frankly don't need that bad juju. I will blow a hole in every corner of this base and then some to find these guys. Area revealed. Okay, well, that's something. What the hell? Oh, fire foam. Hold on. No way. I mean, maybe? Let's wait to look. Holy shit. Okay. Um, well, I found them. Was there anything in there worth finding? Oh, not really. Is there anything super quick in there? There's a race. Giant spider. Is, there, is that a black race? Oh, shit. That's a black race. Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. And the bitch of it is, is there's literally nothing in there that's worth. Ah, oh, shit. I mean, I could. I could. You know what? I'll say it. I'm going to say this is anti void, too. I think I can take them. We're about to find out. But I think I can take them. As long as I can bottleneck the whole area and just hit it with unseemingly amounts of god-awful fire, I can take it. Alright guys, just lay down the law. Yup. Come on. Come out to your doom. That black rate's gonna be the scary one. Yup, here she comes. And she's dead. I do believe. Now, don't quote me. But I believe we might have actually pulled this shit off. I'm going to move the albatross over here so that we can start looting. I'm also going to have some bedrolls uh, dropped in. How are we doing on time? Oh, this is going to be a whole episode in and of itself. Shit. Alright, well, worth. Worth. Worth it. Alright. 
zone. We're gonna make you guys the. We're gonna make this the expanded home zone. Actually, I don't have to bring in nothing. Yeah. So we'll just use the beds that are here. We'll turn this into the home zone. Yeah. There we go. And you guys will be set for home zone for now. While you guys take a breather. Except you. You're going to go get... Uh... Well, no, not you. Who's my fastest mover? Darcy. Darcy, you're going to be set to go get the uh... albatross. While I make all this stuff able to be grabbed. Jeez. I, uh... Yeah. I, I can dig this. Definitely. Darcy, go get the albatross, bring it back over. We don't need those beds. We just need to make sure that we don't get shot at by their turrets. Which, we won't. We, we did a pretty successful invasion here. Now, is the hibernation chamber worth anything? Wait, why would it be worth that? Materials and labor. What materials went in? Uh, you know what? We'll figure that out here in a bit. Cargo desks. Ah. Oh. Flat screen television. I kind of like that table. What are you doing, Darcy? Oh, fair enough. Gonna go get the package survival meals. Alright, so... Now our next move is going to be to come in here and liberate all of this. Because there are implants, there's void gear here. I mean, it's stuff we're going to have to enchant with tears. Well, pretty much anybody who has uh, chrono magic, which I think Johnny's... No, he's not working on it. Um, Brains might have some chrono magic. Yes, he does, but I needed a technomancer, and I think Tears might only technomancer. But I can create some psi rings. Um, all these void body pieces I can upgrade through enchantment, and we can use these kidneys, these this heart, these lungs. Not not the actual ones, but the void, all the void tech stuff. You can I can enchant up to excellent at the very least. Uh, including the Voitech weapons. Now, Corpse Blaster, what's your range? 18. I know the range. The Dusk Mag is like 17. Or no, it's 28. The Gal is 8, 26. What's this? Is this a Corpse Destroyer? That's also 26. Uh, it's crafted from the pre preserved remains of N4 undead. Oh wow. It's nice and messy. Dusk carbine. Now, that's not half bad, but only two shots, but at 41 range, that would be worth enchanting and keeping. Ooh, some N4 control implants. All right. We need to raid more of these, guys. 
We certainly need to raid more of these. All right. And while, oh, I realize why Darcy's not sleeping. She's one of my original voidies, which means that she has an implant that says that she doesn't have to. Oh God. Oh God. And it's war bond day. <laughs> Yayo's bank, baby. Yeah, well, my bad. Yayo's bank continued. Um, what in the hell? Did it really throw me a colonist? What the hell? In the world? What in the... Hello? Yayo? You okay, man? Now you actually throwing androids at me. Jeez. Oh, where was that anti-green warhead a few days ago, man? Let's talk about this. Ugh. And mech lord suits, which, you know, I'll appreciate those once I, until I can start making my own. All right. Oh, crap. Did one of their elephants get stuck in my... Oh, they're going to be mad about that. Hopefully not too mad. Oh, man. Whatever. Don't care. All right. Jay, let's go ahead and wake up and let's go mess these turrets up. Oh man. Oh no, that's 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 not gonna work. Um when was my last save? Right before I took on the damn N4s. But since I know there's some implants down here. Oh boy. Alright. Well the problem is I'm not gonna accept having that stuff get destroyed. That's not okay with me. But, hold on. If I claim that, I starve him of power, don't I? I mean, where else is your grid? Oh, wow. Oh! Oh, wow. Double wow. Okay. So... If I uninstall you, and then I uninstall you, oh, think smarter, not harder tier. All right, guys. Well, I know. It's been an entire episode, so I've got to stop recording, and I don't want to. So, actually, we're just going to make this a non-sequential episode. We're going to turn this into a standalone raid on the bunker. That's how I'm going to do that, is we're going to turn this into a standalone raid on the bunker. It'll be a day five raid. It won't even be episodic. And that's how I'll justify it. Alright, but now that I know where they're at, and I honestly want that black race, because she is the she's the meanest one out of all of them. I've watched the black race take down, I can't even tell you. So we're gonna sneak down here. Sneaky, sneaky, because I don't want to lose any of that stuff. Combat capable members nearby. Bullshit. Okay. Oh. Shit. Alright. Should have just stuck with the original plan. 
Get the spider. Yep, there we go. Spider stopped. Oh. How's she gonna... Oh, shit. That's how she wants to play. Alright. Stop her, Jay. Everybody fill her with everything. Yeah! We got her, y'all. Alright. There's one more... There's a Roid Hulk and just one more Wraith left. But it's not a Black Wraith, so... I'm not even remotely afraid. Alright. Jay, let's go lure her out. Hey, you wanna play? You wanna build a snowman? Oh, there she goes. Alright, where'd the Roid Hulk go? That last Roid Hulk. Alright, so that should be the last combat capable one. And now with that done, we can go ahead and disable those. Uh, Jay, you alright, man? Let's see what we got. Yeah, that wraith really messed you, but. Yeah, well, I mean, you're sort of dying, but you're not really dying. Alright, stop trying to run all the way back to the ship, dude. Alright, uh, Brains, you're gonna have to treat him. Are you kidding me? You didn't bring any of your meds with you? Whatever. Alright. Well then. We'll do an uninstall. I don't care who's assigned to construction and who's not. Uh, Darcy. Actually, if we start, if we delete this stockpile zone, which, where'd I put it? Zone, stockpile. We're gonna do a stockpile zone right here. And then I want to uninstall that, no matter how much they shoot at you, just. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. Now, somebody goes to get the albatross, and we start loading it here. Which, Darcy, you'll just go get that. Everybody else should stay in the home. At, well, everybody else should just relax. We did it. All right, everybody. I would keep rolling for the sake of having you guys watch the, the loot and all that, but we just hit the 38 minute mark. So I'm going to bring the albatross down here. I'm going to loot. Yes, we're going to grab, go, move that anti grain trap down there. Yes, I'm going to get those resurrector bank serums. Um, it'll be nice to be able to bring something back to life without having to have my necromancer cut a finger off for it. That being said, um, as always, thank you for watching. I enjoy making this content. I enjoy uh, sharing my love of the rim with you guys. Anyways, enjoy uh, the rest of your night, and I'll catch you out on the rim.